This is a heat transfer model in Excel. It is a one-dimensional model in the sense that uh, a uniform rod is modeled, is uh, simulated. The rod has um, a certain length, you can adjust it from here, and certain parameters, which means internal conduction between neighboring elements, uh, external conduction, which means conduction between the rod and the external, uh, between, between the rod and the ambient, and also heat capacitance of each element. Now, uh, the rod is, is uh, div divided in 21 elements, and you can adjust the initial temperature of the elements and the ambient temperature of the elements from uh, these buttons here. I think you can go from 0 to 1000 degrees in increments of 5 degrees C. Also, simulation time is shown here. Let's start the model. Okay, pause it from the same button. And now you see three curves here. There's a legend which explains which, uh, what each curve means. The green curve is the current temperature of the rod. Of course, is, uh, there are 21 temperatures. It's a map of the rod temperature. The, the red curve, you see, is a broken line, a dotted line, is the initial temperature map, and the green dotted line is the ambient temperature map. Now, if we start this, we can see that, let's reset it, we start from the initial and we are aiming to the ambient curve. If we increase the heat conduction external, so we increase the conduction between the, the bar and the external, between the, the bar and the ambient, we can get closer to the ambient curve with the actual temperature curve. So you see the green curve is getting closer to the blue one. Now heat conduction external, we can make it much higher to, <coughs> I believe, 10. So <coughs> in this case, the rod temperature map will get very, very close to the external temperature map. We can also decrease it. And if we go to zero, there won't be any heat transfer between the bar and the <coughs> ambient. So now if we wait enough time, now we have 20 seconds from the beginning. If we wait, say, a thousand seconds, the bar will uh, flatline. So since there's no, since now there is no transfer with the heat transfer between the bar and the environment, the ambient, there will be only redistribution of heat within the bar and very very slowly the bar will get asymptotically get to a flat line temperature which means uh, the, the heat just distributes and the temp that temperature now the flat one temperature to which to which the bar is aiming will be the average the, the mean temperature of the initial of the initial uh, conditions here. <coughs> so uh, another thing, let's reset this. Let's put this to maybe 0 0.3. Another uh, feature is the display history. We can put uh, let's say display history of one second. Let's reset it. And stop it now. We can see here the green curve, solid curve, is the actual temperature of the bar, and the rest uh, of the solid curves, this one, this one, this one, are historical data, which means it's the same map but 0 0.2 seconds behind, 0, .2, 0 0.2 seconds back, 0 0.6 seconds back, 0 0.8, 1.1 second back. And uh, reset and start it. So now you can see the evolution in time of the temperature. We can increase or decrease the time step. So make the simulation faster or slower. 
you can change the both maps of uh, ambient and uh, initial temperatures from here. <clears throat> and also, what you can do is uh, run a demo. But first, let's stop the model and uh, see this setup number. There are uh, 100 setups. You can save data and you can retrieve from. This is like a memory buffer. Say you, you can you can choose setup number four and load. And you load certain initial conditions and ambient temperature uh, conditions, right? Ambient and initial, and also heat conduction, external, internal heat capacitance. You can change this, this and uh, you can save them in a certain setup. So all these numbers are setup dependent. So um, you can um, hit start and see what happens. The bar goes from the initial to the ambient. Slowly you can see everything. And you can load another setup, say set, setup 5, load. And you get something different. You can also create your own setup by adjusting these numbers and these numbers here. And then hit store. Another thing you can do, uh, let's stop this. You can do a demo. The demo will run through 10 different setups. The first 10 setups, I already saved them. Um, and uh, see setup number two. Very interesting looking curves. Setup number three now. See, so you have a step in temperature here. Setup number four. Setup number five. Setup number six. Setup number seven. And setup number eight. Setup number nine. See here I put uh, external heat conduction zero <coughs> and setup number ten. Then of course you can send you can take any setup, say load uh, setup number five, load it. We change some stuff here, okay? Change thing things and uh, go to setup number let's say 22 and store it. And now if we load this, it loads the what we saved and we can start it. Okay. So you can create a hundred different setups, your own setups and save them in this uh, location, this uh, memory buffer from 1 to 100. So this is the model. You can uh, download it at excelunusual.com. You can go here. This is my home page. I mean it lands on the home page. And you type um, heat transfer. Search. And uh, the very bottom one is on 16th of March. One dimensional heat transfer model, and this is a diffusion model too. And it explains how um, how it can be operated. And you can download it from here. Open. Of course, we already downloaded. This is the second file. Let's close this. And um, yeah, if you have any comments, don't hesitate to post them. Thanks for watching.